Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday expert interview. Let's get started. Do you typically recommend people to change the probe every time they run a new batch or uh, are these probes robust enough to be used over multiple bioreactor right. operations? Uh, both. So it's a risk dependent. And if somebody is R&D in a university or a PD lab somewhere, they have budgets, you can use the probe over and over and over again. Eventually it's going to fail. When that happens, you can't predict. So we say like bending a paper clip. Is it gonna break on the first bend, the second bend, the third bend? If you have a million dollar process, you would have redundant probes, you would use them once and throw them away because you have zero risk and you, and you have a lot of income riding on it. And in this age of disposable unit operations, yeah. uh, are the disposable uh, pH probes and how good are they in terms of technology compared to some of the traditional reusable pH yeah. probes? Uh, there are and they're the same, just a different st sticker. The, the technology is exactly the same. We, we manufacture some electrodes uh, in polymer for use in single-use bioreactors, benchtops, they're gamma radiated and they're built in so they, you open the bag and you use it. But it's exactly the same, exactly the same technology. And finally, can you give us a, a taste, a feel for the cost of these probes? Are they very expensive compared to the other items in the bioreactor that we use or, uh, or affordable? Very affordable. In my opinion, a pH electrode might be $300, mm -hmm. okay, typical. Um, if you use it once, it's $300, but so are your filters and tubing sets and all this other stuff on a larger scale. A small scale, if you use it 10 times, that's 30 bucks a run. So again, pretty, pretty affordable. With You look at media costs and other things. Yes. Uh, yeah. So compared to some of the other things, like the media, like the total cost of that bioreactor, a probe or two probes is probably not that expensive. Right. Very good. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.